Yo, what's up? It's your boy Von Doom. So check it out. I want to start a new segment um, every couple of days about stuff I want to talk about. And it's going to be called Stuff I Want to Talk About. And it's about everything. Stuff I like. So that's it. First off, Chainsaw Man. The new Chainsaw Man anime has come out. It's two episodes um, based off the Shonen manga Chainsaw Man. I think it's a shonen. Yes, it's a shonen. It's one of the uh, the uh, more uh, darker shonens, I guess you could say. Uh, it doesn't feel like a shonen. Sure doesn't. But uh, I read it last year, and it was really, really freaking good. So I'm very excited that the mm -hmm. anime is out. So far, they're on episode two, and the animation is they put a lot you can tell the budget they didn't have a budget as in they did it, it was there was no limits to that budget that's what it looked that's that's what it's looking like and i'm really excited about it it doesn't even look like an anime it just looks it looks more like ova episodes in my opinion so i'm really excited about what more they got going on that's going to be a dope piece of art i like it so far I tried to get my sister into it, but she says it's too violent, but whatever. Next up, Elden Ring DLC. Yes, I've been seeing a lot of news on Elden Ring. Um, if you guys don't know, Elden Ring is a FromSoft game that has that came out like seven, eight months ago. Um, it was the most highly anticipated video game ever around that time and probably going to win Game of the Year and Game Awards, all that other stuff. Um... I still think Bloodborne is a little bit better, but we'll get into that's another topic for another story. But um, everybody has been wondering and waiting for DLC, and it looks like there has been stirs of remnants of DLC stuff going around. People have been data mining. People have been looking up stuff. And so far, people have found stuff like... Uh, like um what you call it like the creation like your uh, character creation they found new hairstyles and stuff they're starting to see uh the arena of the like these the arenas all around the game they're starting to see uh it's it's stuff's being filled up and everything so i think everybody's coming to the conclusion that the first dlc is going to be like um like maybe um a more enhanced more detailed uh pvp stuff I never really do PvP because, to be honest with you, I'm just like going around doing stuff by myself and I'm pretty much trash at making builds. So I don't want to get wrecked every time I go to an arena or uh, go into a fight because I know I'm going to get I'm going to get bodied. Bus ass. It's not going to be it's not going to look good, but I'm very excited for the PvP. I play fighting games. I'm a, you know, I play fighting games competitively recently. I, I, I uh, chilled out on it, but. I, I want to see what they what, what it's going to look like. I want to see if if uh, I'm I'm really interested into in, in it for real for real because I want to see if if like if it's like a like a real ranked thing or if they're going to like get it to a point to where they can like make it like even like like on some esports type of jazz. You know that would be kind of that would be kind of tight because like Elden Ring like from soft period has really never been something like that in that major in the, in that type of scale. You know what I'm saying? So if they can do like some really like competitive stuff, that would be really freaking sweet. So I'm high for that. Ready for it. Next on the list, Berserk Chapter 371. So check it. Berserk, if you don't know who Berserk is, it's one of the greatest uh, mangas of all time. Kentaro Miura, one of the greatest, the most prolific, most genius artists you will see, you have seen, you will ever see in, in, in this space. Uh, rest in peace to Kentaro Miura. He passed away, like, I think it was last year. He passed away last year of a something that has to do with his heart. But um, everybody was really scared. Where's Berserk going to go? So his team uh, and his and his team asked his best friend, Koji Mori, because uh, he apparently is the only man on this planet that knows the rest of how the story is going to go because i guess you know that was kentaro's homie so he was like yo this is how berserk is going to go and, and i guess like you know more or less he's going to try and finish it off so they're doing more chapters and the recent chapter was freaking nuts i'll tell you that much i they're i guess they're starting on the next arc they're they're ending the fantasia arc and they're going into the next arc and um 
uh this this next arc i'm really excited because if you have um spoilers head but if you haven't seen this 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 last chapter um elf helm is destroyed griffith came and, and kidnapped i guess kidnapped if that's what you want to call it casca guts couldn't do anything about it he looked at a sword he's on the boat everybody's on the boat and everything getting ready to go god knows where guts is like bro the only the craziest part about that whole thing bro is like the only thing everything he had from the beginning of the manga to now his homie his sword was the only thing that's been protecting him has been protecting his homies has been giving him the the motivation to keep on going failed him so like what what else does guts have left that's crazy that's my man he's been going through so much he's been going through like thick and thin the craziest type of stuff and it just seems like the more and more that goes on griffith keeps getting the upper hand and it just looks wild man it's crazy so i'm really excited for the next chapter um recently i don't know if it's because just like koji mori doesn't know too like ha hasn't been told like in detail what's going to happen so they have to work with dialogue because there hasn't had haven't been too much dialogue in these recent chapters but so far man i'm i'm excited i'm ready for it i'm ready for more berserk i'm ready to see how the story is going to continue i'm going to see how i'm excited to see how the story is going to end so the next chapter i'm really hyped for i'm really hyped for it and i hope everybody else is hyped for it also they uh freaking did a new um i wouldn't say new but they like did a a, a rendition of the berserk movies and they're making them anime series they're making them a, a series i've been watching on uh, crunchyroll so they've added new scenes and all that so if you're a berserk fan go check it out i i urge you because i think the, the the movies the animation mixed with the 3d animation i think it's stellar i think it's good never watch 2016 2017 those are disgrace before god don't watch it but this new one this new one i honestly think whoever like the studio or whatever i think they're trying to make up for i mean also it's a like a it's like a, a memorial type of thing you know something in in respect to kentaro miura but like you gotta you gotta do something <laughs> you gotta do something after 2016 2017 because berserk is way too beautiful berserk is way too awesome too iconic of a masterpiece of a medium to disrespect like that in my opinion that's all i gotta say but yeah i'm excited for the next chapter 372 i think is going to come out 372 so i can't wait for it all right all the nerd stuff is done kendrick lamar my man has been on the billboard top 200 for 10 years good kid mad city congratulations to kendrick lamar for for such a feat for such a, a, a contribution in hip-hop um good kid mad city to this day is probably my favorite kendrick lamar album i'm i can't get on the bandwagon with uh um to pimp a butterfly it's a really good album it's a very solid album i will not i, I think good kid mad city is a better album in my opinion i think good kid mad cities is that generation's illmatic that's what i've always told people that's what i've always said it it, it the elements or the the elements are, are are similar there's parallels the only difference is like good kid mad city is more is more um more linear it has a story you know while not Nas, Nas illmatic it's like his he's just telling stories of of new york and his homies and making dedications to cats in jail and just giving you a visual like a visual sense uh, like a movie of how his life is in new york and stuff it's the same thing with kendrick lamar and i mean like a lot of rappers they do that but like specifically uh good kid mad city was a really amazing album it was very it was very good poetic um very uh visual uh the beats was there the rhymes was there it was dope i think uh that's that's one of the most one of the more important albums that he's made um i think good kid mad city to pimp a butterfly and the, his recent one um mr morales and the big steppers are are some very important albums um but in, personally i think good kid mad city maybe it's my favorite i won't call it his best 
because like, I guess you know music is subjective but in my opinion I think I'll say that is the album that I go back to the most um I don't really listen to Big Steppers that much um the Pimp a Butterfly um I really love um I really love um Wesley's Theory uh I really love um How Much A Dollar Cost that's one of my favorite songs from his um I like um I like I I's cool um the one joint where he was uh drunk I forget his uh loving you is complicated ah! that's cool but bro it's not a sing about me sing about me bro you know backseat freestyle you know what I'm saying uh the one song the peer pressure where he was uh whatever it was uh, um took a left and another left another left you know like uh um autumn joints is cold bro dive thirst oh uh, good kid mad city is a really great album it's a really great album so that's really dope that's a great accomplishment congratulations to kendrick lamar man that's really dope up next uh drake and 21 savage are apparently dropping a new album on the 28th of this month i'm curious to know what it's gonna sound like because number one drake you know Man, you know how light skinned niggas is, man. You know, Drake out here. And like, Just hold on. I'm coming home. Come home. And then you got 21 Savage. It's a knife. So, like, I'm I'm just curious how, like, Simpy Drake and Gangsta 21 is going to sound like. I think it's going to be interesting. I will listen to it. I'm not much of a Drake fan. I am a fan of Drake the Rapper. If Drake can make a dope rap joint, like a, like a, a, a consecutive, like, give me give me five good rap rap songs five just five five good rap joints i'm there doesn't mean i left the city you i'm not that i'm not that guy i need champagne poetry all the time i need duppy i need duppy all the time so i'm really interested in what that's going to sound like 21 savage is a gangster uh he kills people in his raps um drake uh loves people in his raps um he sings about um women in bad behavior and he curses them and he insults women doing him wrong doing you dirty, dirty dirty um he sings about how women should be ashamed of themselves and how their mom will look at them in disappointment while 21 savage uh raps about how your mama is going to look at you in the casket in disappointment so it's going to be a really interesting take and it's going to be a really interesting dynamic and i'm here for it another thing i want to talk about uh red pill niggas um recently i don't know why um i i've been i've been watching a lot of stuff re and, and, and it's, it's at this point it's really you really can't avoid it i mean it's just there especially if you're on youtube like people have made platforms and all that types of stuff on this like red pill manosphere thing type of joint i just was i'm just curious about it because like it's in my opinion okay maybe it's more to it than this but like in 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 the surface level it just looks like a bunch of niggas that got rejected at a young age and then lift weights got a good job and now they're out here talking crazy about women that's basically what it looks like from a surface level um i just I just think that the red pill stuff is kind of weird. I think it's kind of weird. Not going to lie. Um, I will say there's a lot of things that these red pill niggas be saying that actually makes a lot of sense from my from experiences in my relationships and stuff, past relationships, exes and all that other jazz. I ain't going to lie. A lot of the stuff them niggas be saying is right, but it's just how they say the stuff that just makes you feel like, dang, are you mad? Are you are you OK? are you angry because like some of these dudes be treating okay like there's a uh, they they tap dance they play hopscotch on the borderline of like red pill and, and misogyny i guess i don't know but i just thought it was strange because like i understand like there is in this generation especially with social media affecting the way people talk to each other and how people like you know get in relationships and date and stuff like that like when it comes to like you know um uh, being you know a, a masculine a alpha male whatever and then you have these uh 
masculine women and stuff like that and it's like yeah i get it when it comes to like dating and things and certain people wanting to date you and certain people that you think deserve being courted or don't deserve being courted but at the same time man in my opinion everybody out here is, is is struggling when it comes to this like to these social relationships for real for real man like i understand women believe that men need to protect provide and and you know have money and all that other jazz but like and they have this weird thing like you got the modern woman and then the traditional woman and the modern man and the traditional man and all that stuff and i'm like this is a lot this is a lot there's a lot going on but with my experience man like it sucks too because like it's really a game and when it comes to like relationships and love and all that stuff you shouldn't it shouldn't be a game you shouldn't have to play games just to get in like to i tell someone i'd like to get to know you can we go out on a date like i think that's crazy and it's like it's not just women bro it's men too man we all have our issues and we all have our situations and stuff like that i just think it's kind of strange that men like these red pill niggas really take it to the t to where like they like i don't know it's almost like they treat women like i, I think it's, it's 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 like really like treat them like objects man like i don't know it just it just looks like that to me maybe i just need to watch more of these guys or something like that i don't know i've been like i've observed a lot of like the fresh and fit niggas the app and preach niggas the uh what is it the, the roommates or whatever they're called and you know, the, you know obviously you know their lord and savior kevin samuels that he uh he's gonna he died but i, I think he'll he'll come back soon uh, i think that's what the bible says um so uh, you know it's 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 been a thing um but i also think that it's interesting that women when they see these things and they see these like red pill dudes and they're like oh man but like some of that stuff is true some of y'all hoes is not pretty some of y'all women think y'all is tens and are sevens respectfully and like you know i think we do sometimes hold women to a really uh, uh, exaggerated imaginary standard to where they just believe that they can believe everything they want and it happens and it's supposed to be that way and they're supposed to be this and that but also men have this weird thing that where they like you know yeah you are you a man you a high value dude you done did what you did and you deserve to have what you want but that's just anybody in life you know what i'm saying i don't think just because like you worked out have a freaking six-figure salary and this this and that that you just are king of the world and demand shit you know what i'm saying i think that's that's weird yo you you i deserve you nah you deserve me you come here you mine right now you gonna do what i say no instagram no social media you gonna sit there my nigga and you gonna make me a sandwich did i just catch you having fun the, some of the stuff they say makes sense but it's just how these niggas like like the different niggas like the the people i'll say that some of the facts that that they be saying makes sense but the people that are saying it sometimes are kind of funny you know they, they're, they're kind of weirdos uh next up white girls turning white again i'll explain so recently i've been seeing a lot of those celebrities uh going back to their roots um one example you have the kardashians um i've seen a couple pictures of uh, ariana grande i just want to know what's going on y'all i'm like bitch that's my cookie that's my juice okay thank you next that's what this baby picture says the dancing scene in this video was actually inspired by sweet charity um the kardashians they they just taken out all of their silicone bbls and all that other stuff i saw kim kardashian one day and then she just skinny as hell all the meat all the yams in the back are gone i saw ariana grande she looks like a a, a, a regular ass white girl she was uh just a couple years ago the girl had big lips she was tan she was she had an accent and everything she was doing features with Nicki minaj and all the african americans i don't know what's going on is is the fad over are they have they been through all the rappers that they is are they doing a miley cyrus are they were they just using african americans because i don't know because i think the funny thing about the kardashians are that they built themselves and then everybody else was building themselves after seeing them and their influence but really these kardashians the kardashians was just copying off the original black woman and that i white people steal everything from us i'm just telling you man case in point 
black women been looked like this but as soon as these kardashians come out of nowhere and it's crazy too the kardashians uh, shoot kyle was all right look she was not pretty as a teenager and then she she built herself and all that other stuff and then you had all the, all the rappers start coming along and they cursed they cursed them lamar odom kanye travis oh i think travis is cool i think travis is cool because kylie's a jenner you know so not necessarily a kardashian it's the kardashian name that curses you you know what i'm saying i'm not i'm not yeah man like why are the white girls turning white again is this, is this a fad is it, i know taylor swift just dropped so i don't know is, is she summoning all the white girls to 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 uh, uh, she, uh the back to the mountains of caucasus i'm not sure but um i think that's really interesting you know uh but hey you know more black for the black people i'm cool with it you know what i'm saying that's all i got today um this is just like the first episode so i i'm really short so i'll probably you know gotta do more research and all the certain things because listen this ain't um, this is not a news thing okay this is entertainment i'm gonna talk about stuff that i like i'm not talking about weekly news and all that if it's something that i find interesting i'm gonna talk about it and then we gonna talk about it on the comments and discuss all right my niggas so like subscribe and share the videos and all that other stuff but this your boy Von Doom. I'm out of here. Y'all take care. Peace, love, chicken grease, stay black, white, Asian, Jamaican, all that stuff. Love and take care of each other.